How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Bass Fishing Extreme. I'm Philip. Um, this year, 2023, uh, I've decided to do a lot more detail. I've had tons and tons of comments, great feedback on how I'm catching fish, uh, where I'm catching them, my rod and reel setups, line, tackle, um, how I prepare. I do modify almost all my baits, uh, hand tie my jigs, uh, spinner bait, spinner combinations, blade combinations. Uh, you name it, pretty much I can do it. Um, I guess we'll get started with the most important thing. This is very important to me, it's key. It's what I call the first change of baits. These are baits I hand select to do the water clarity, time of year, um, area I'm fishing, the type of water I'm fishing, um, all, a bunch of different multitudes of things. Light penetration, cloudy, sunny, you name it. Um, this is my soft plastic box. It's right here as you can see. I've got a lineup. I've got my regular worms, creature baits, finesse, and then stick worms. And right here, I've got a small box. This will all be on the front deck of my boat. I'll show you guys here in a minute. What I mean, let me grab this big boy. Hopefully you can see everything good. Now I'm gonna walk you out there to the boat so you can see it here in a minute. Uh, and you'll be able to tell where these trays fit and where they align. Um, other than that, we've got this tackle. This my big box. It is predetermined. And you, just, you don't need a ton full of baits. I've seen guys pull up and just boo-coos. Look here. Top waters, jigs, Crankbaits, frogs and toads, rattle traps and jerk baits, and chatter baits. Um, and I've also got quite a few soft plastics and trailers. Um, both of those in combination are very important to me. Um, soft plastics more than anything. The combination of those. Let me see. And I've got a creature bait bag, which is here. And a soft plastic worm bag, which is here. Strictly for trailers. Um, Z crawls, across top trailers, um, non flapping trailers, uh, swim baits, cheddar bait trailers, uh, new fresh packs, raised tails. I got some zooms, looks like some more. Um, you name it, this is my trailer bag. This is only for trailers. Then we have my spinnerbait and buzzbait bag. Um, a few trailers in the front. Now the buzzbait and spinnerbait trailers, I do keep separately in here. Uh, I've got my split tails and I've got my grubs. I've also got my swim baits inside. And you can see this setup. Now I've got tons of spinnerbaits and buzzbaits. So boxes after boxes after boxes. But I only carry, when I go to a selected place, one box of spinnerbaits and a box of buzz baits and or buzz toes. Those were gonna select it for this lake to go to. Um, and it's that simple, guys. I'm gonna rack this out. I'm gonna go put it in the boat. Let y'all see the boat <clears throat> and the setup. And uh, we'll put the first change baits up there so you can see them real good. And uh, then I'll get back to the rod and reel combinations with the line. We'll do that next. Okay, now, <clears throat> here for this one here, I've selected, I've got two separate spinner baits, a bluegill and a shad color. I keep my chatter baits here, and I'm pretty confident the chatter baits I'm going to be using. Um, I've just got different sizes. I've got a black and blue with uh, paddle tails, little uh, tiny quarter ounce, then I've got a half ounce with a banjo meta, just a regular old round. Another black and blue, and kind of like this one. It's got a different trailer um, and a heavier head. It's, it's also a half ounce. It helps me fish it slower. The tail action to keep it. This for super shallow water. Good resistance, fall slow. 
depending on which one they want, which one I buy any time, which one I go with. I'm gonna keep my trailers there. My jigs will also go in here, but I'm not finished making those yet. Um, this is my on the fly. If I want to change or I get broke off, anything in the world, I don't know if you can see it. I've got um, heavy shaky heads, light shaky heads, dead rigs, every size of worm weight, tungsten uh, that you can, that I use, rattles, uh, pegs, beads. Um, I've got right here, I've got the super line, these Kamigatsu, full four alt. And then it goes down from there to a four alt, extra wide gap. EWG uh, Gamagatsu, and then I've got the light wire Gamagatsus. Then I've got flipping hooks, and then it goes to a 3 aught EWG and worm style hook. And then I've got my straight offset shank worm hooks down here a heavy one, a medium one, and a super light one. And I keep them right there handy that way I don't have to clean my worm bags, dig into it in the middle of fishing, uh, stop everything. All this right there in front of my boat hands distance um, in here um, I've got a jerk bait I've got two shallow running crank baits one deep crank bait a rattle trap and another jerk bait first change baits now let's take you over here and let me show you rod and reel setup we have my rod and reels I do have a couple of new ones in the lineup um, a couple of jigs here my jig tying thing. Um, everybody's asking what kind of line I use. The only line in the whole wide world I use, I use spider wire for braid. I use Seaguar Braze X for tons of stuff. I use the Sunline Shooter, 20 pound, if I'm gonna be flipping into um, pretty standing timber, stuff like that where I'm worried about getting hung up. Um, and then, of course, your basic red label and a Vizek cigar. Uh, but my three main ones, the Yozuri 12 is awesome, awesome crankbait line. Um, crankbaits, um, it has a little more stretch than the rest of it, it seems like. So you get that snap and it, it gives it that whip back. But anyway, that's where we're going. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Let's go outside. I want to show you the boat and how I'm going to have these baits set up. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Just a second here. 